Good morning, gamers. Happy October. We need a mod to get the trumpet. Have you ever wanted to wear your friend's skin? Nani? Up until last Thursday, my answer to that question was a resounding no. And then Bone Lab, one of the most anticipated VR games in history, was released. Mm. And now my opinions on the cruelty-free human leather market are changing a bit. Let me explain. In Bone Lab, you spawn as a certified Halloween enjoyer. Just in time for October, baby. You're given a six-sided die and told not to roll a nat one. It's a one. The game immediately tells you to kill yourself. You've probably read the comments about how Bone Lab's physics are too hard, and the game keeps getting softlocked due to physics issues. And also, why did my pre-order of the game come with a 2-inch thick manila rope? <coughs> These comments are coming from people who weren't using their noodle, and subsequently got hanged in the first 30 seconds of the game. What happens if you just throw the blade at them? Oh sh- but with a little ingenuity, the thinking gamer can escape this scenario. This is the secret strat nobody tells you about. It. If somebody ever tries to hang you in real life, just pull yourself up. Wait, can we get this? How far can we get? <laughs> The game's core mechanic is that you wear the skin of whomever you want. This may sound like a horrifying experience, but in practice, it's more confusing than anything else. I don't know, I'm looking a little different than I do in real life. I am a woman. I am a black woman. You're gonna like the way you look. All right, you like weapons? You don't get to decide that. Here's a battle axe. Sing. This Halloween decoration? It's canonically sentient. <laughs> The makers of the simulation gave it a soul just to chain it to a wall. They also put a dagger on the table right in front of it. This is a concept that game developers like to call emergent storytelling, and I like to call pretty fucked up. <laughs> it's time I address something. I can't live in fear anymore. I recently enabled memberships on my channel. Every day for the past half year, I've survived knowing that if I don't use all of the site's features, Susan from YouTube will drone frag me and post it on YouTube Kids, the only mainstream site with looser moderation than LiveLeak. Yeah, check them out. This has cost me the entirety of my dignity, but if you'd like to be generous, it'll only cost a couple bucks in the tip jar. But whatever you do, don't. I made this tier as a bait to identify the most dangerous and reckless of my subscribers. I am now bound by the laws of gods and men and the SEC to state their name in every video until they submit. So, Nubis004 and Russell underscore 935, please stop burning your wallets. Bone Lab has a lot to offer. You can smith bronze armor. Holy shit! You can handle firearms poorly. Well, I wouldn't go to the metaverse if I wanted rules on weapon safety now, would I? <laughs> What's up, If I wanted safe weapons, I'd go to a gun range. If I wanted to do this... I would go to Zuck's Funhouse. You can develop a sense of empathy for a physical manifestation of JavaScript. Alright, come get you some. Come on. Get you a <laughs> I could try again, but you can do. You can do. <laughs> oh man! Oh no! Help me! Oh my God! Bone Lab is the first game that made me feel coordinated. Yeah. I don't mean the first video game. I mean the first game. In middle school, I was frequently picked as the last player for sports teams. But in Bone Lab, the only players are me and these guys. So. So my confidence is through the roof. I can imagine no greater hell than being stuck in a Naruto run. I'll caution you, there are moments that induce motion sickness. Specifically, you can't even leave the tutorial without one. Give it to me. Whoa! <laughs> I'm gonna f***ing bomb! Oh god! Oh, Before the game introduces you to wearing other people's skin, it first introduces you to its combat systems. These systems are outstanding. Not bad. Hey, the Void Rats are back. What's up, guys? Except for the one where your Twitch chat forces you to use nothing but your fists. Oh my god. All right, I gotta find a way to get up there. <laughs> no. <gasps> Come get you some of that. Oh, that actually worked. Actually, I take that back. Some of the best moments in the game come from hand-to-hand -hand combat. <gasps> God. Be gone. 
The first time the game forces you into the carapace of another human is one of the most profoundly uncomfortable moments I've had in my many years of gaming. What have I become? But you get used to it quickly. I don't know, chat. Be careful who you make fun of in middle school. Never know how they'll end up. Face it, buddy, you're never gonna be Japanese. Changing your avatar to hentai or whatever they're called, it's not gonna help. Remember that time you were playing Dark Souls and made fun of Executioner Sm... Sm... Smow? You're gonna come to regret that. Very well. Holy shit! <laughs> I just became Smo from Dark Souls 1. You may not like it. But this is the peak male aesthetic. There are some inherent issues with the way your skin interacts with the world. Oh no. Oh no. We can kind of get that one. Which leads to some inherent solutions as well. <laughs> Never mind, I don't need any weapon at all. Put that away. Come here. For some reason, the internet is really mad about the moon level in the game. Okay, I screwed up. I spot a bingus. It's a complaint I don't understand. The level takes a grand total of one minute to complete. <laughs> Mission objective is gonna be straight out the door to the right. Got it. Probably half of that if you don't get distracted. Oh, I can spawn Ford? <laughs> At long last, the return of Arthur F He's huge. Give me a piece. <laughs> what the fuck am I playing? Hello darkness, my old friend. Never mind, this game is terrible. Do you like driving? That's a bummer. It's hard as shit in this game. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Okay, okay, okay. Just take some getting used to. But I get the feeling, the longer you wear your animated costume, the easier it gets. This game's taken me places. Not good places, but... Places. Touch the booba. I will not. That's a weird thing to say. As you may have surmised by this video, I've barely scratched the surface of the game. That's because I got to the level where you turn into Dollar General Sauron and refuse to play any further. <laughs> In short, Bone Lab is an outstanding game, and I believe it's going to do to VR what Gary's mod did to PC gaming. So get out there and play it, and thank you to those on screen, the Coriander Connoisseurs, and the Pepper Peddlers of the Spice Market. Take it easy, gamers.